Well, let's have a little recap here. You're looking at our finished thin section. This is far as we could take it. I'll give you a close up in a minute, but I just wanted to review what hopefully came through in that last video of me sitting on the stool, watching the sample plate to see when I can begin to look through to the plate through my section. Then I know it's getting pretty darn close to where it ought to be done. Um, you're also looking for weak points. Is a corner going? Or is there a part within the section that is grinding off first? So you're looking for weaknesses and actually I stopped the machine because I was getting a bit too nervous how thin this was looking. We didn't hit our stop point at all. So let's just go through it. I ground down, letting the machine take it by one duck or five micron passes to 2.50 millimeter. The machine stopped on its little red button and I started it again and we went to two millimeter. And then this is the point, this is the point where you know you need to come to the machine, don't do anything else, and begin to hand feed that micrometer yourself to thin section. So let's have a look at that. Let's have a look at the micrometer now. All right. Um, our stop point actually was, can you see on the top rule, it's one and a half, 1.50 plus 30 is 180 plus two. That is a stop point of 1.82. Now we were projected to go to 1.7878. So we know now that here is where we stopped and I'm just, I wrote up a little card to help us with the math. Okay, we stopped at 1.82. Our projected stop was 1.78 with the difference of 0 0.04 millimeter, or what we would say is 40 micron. So this thin section ground off at between 40 at its thickest to probably around, I'd say, 32, 33 micron. I'm gonna bring this thin section up to the camera. And can you see where I circled an area? That area is what I spotted going thin. And maybe that upper left corner looks pretty thin as well. But the base of this section is certainly sitting, not, I wouldn't say 40, we're not in blue in interference, but we are in red-orange at the base of the section. So, this is going to be a hand finishing job. It pressed unevenly. I mean, sometimes you just don't know why. And you try to center that dart. It could be the way the press pad pressed down on the sample. You never know. You never know. Um, but your job as a thin sectioner is to watch for when it has the look of being done. The more you thin section, the better you're going to get at this. But the beauty of the bro, of course, I'm just going to put that down, the beauty, sorry, hands, is this hood. The hood is what makes that process so much simpler because we can look through the hood to our sample on the plate and we can see how it's grinding and when problems begin. 
if you were to work on any other grinding machine, say Logitech, everything is done on weighted canisters. You cannot see your thin sections. So what Logitech does is you set your micrometer for a stop. You can pick those canisters up off the grinding plate, but it's a harder job to get it back down evenly and evenly weighted so it can go on grinding to its stop mark. So the beauty of the Bro is that it's all in front of you and your job as a thin sectioner is to learn how does your material look as it nears its stop point. The more sections you run of a site, the better your eye is going to be on spotting when they're done. And the less you run, say like me, when I'm running little sets of six at a time, or in this case eight, it's tough. You, you're going to want to set uh, the stop mark high so you can stop and check and stop and check is it's really your first run at looking at this material and that's all you're gonna have. So, you know, you're in more of a using the machine and the micrometer to go in slowly and check your thin sections for width. But this isn't bad, you know, it's the only one we got off in a normal, normal grinding process. That is gluing it to a permanent mount slide and then grinding it to thin section. So let's see how our double mounts do tomorrow. Usually they do a little bit better. Let's hope.